everybody and today's video is another spooky Halloween outfit of the day for you guys. Once again I'm filming the intro part in my car because once again it's raining. I feel like it was raining during last week's outfit of the day too. It's like the sky does not want me to show you guys what I'm wearing. Just clouds drifting by, peeing everywhere, all over me. Not a pleasurable experience. I hope most of you guys enjoy today's outfit of the day. I hope it doesn't traumatize or give any of you too many nightmares. But what I'm wearing today was actually in the background of one of my most recent videos and a lot of you guys noticed it and a lot of y'all were asking about it. So I thought I would put it on and show it to you. Many of you may know I have a total obsession with creepy dolls, especially super old decrepit looking creepy dolls. So if you're scared of baby dolls, I'm sorry because today's outfit contains many a baby doll. Both of the pieces came from romwe.com. They are sold separately so if you want just the bandeau top and not the skirt or the skirt and the bandeau top, you can totally do that. Now I will just tell you guys I'm totally safety pinned into this outfit as y'all probably can tell. The sizing is small, medium, and large and I will just say that this is the only thing that I've gotten from Romwe that I feel like is kind of majorly off in the sizing. So I just want to let you guys know if you are a small or an extra small size, you may have to safety pin it as well, or maybe even have it tailored. Now that's not that big of a deal for me because even though I do adore creepy baby dolls, this isn't an outfit that I would probably wear frequently or I don't know. I mean, I'd probably wear it just like a handful of times around the house. Halloween season. So the fact that I had to pin it up is not that big of a deal. It actually worked out in my favor today because I was able to pair it with this really awesome moto coat. It's called the Vapor Moto Jacket and it's by Unif and I got it from Karma Loop and it's kind of like plasticky and it's like a raincoat but you can still see through it. So it was able to like obscure the parts that I have pinned that look like they don't fit so well, cover those up but still kind of add to the creepy plastic baby doll vibe you could still see the print through it I don't know I just felt like it was a good mixture the other thing that I put with today's outfit to give it more of a baby doll kind of I thought like cutesy look was this leg brace and technically you can wear it to hold up stockings it can work as a garter or you can just wear it separately without any stockings like I did today I I got this from choice.com and it's totally adjustable. This could fit so many different sizes. It's like a bra strap in the back so you can just slide it and make it larger or make it smaller dependent on if you wanted to wear it higher up on your leg or closer to your knee like I did today. I can totally see myself pairing this with a ton of different outfits. Other than that I didn't really put too many accessories with this outfit. I always like to say my tattoos are a permanent accessory accessory and I just felt like with all the baby dolls and the plastic coat that maybe like a bunch of jewelry would just be overkill. I did this really really messy top knot. I thought that that looked a little sassier and just kind of like a little different. I don't know. I liked how it looked. My shoes are from Choi's as well. This is a brand new style that they got in and I love the pointed toe and the buckles on the side. The fabric that the baby doll heads are on, you can kind of just see hints and pieces of it, but it's the same kind of bright blood red color. So I thought these shoes were perfect with this outfit. Last but not least, my handbag for the day comes from a brand called Hollywood Mirror and I got this from Karma Loop as well and I thought it went so great once again with the jacket and the whole plastic feel. I'm so glad you can see Alfred in it. Look, everyone's favorite swamp infant creepy baby. You can see him. He looks like he's waving to you. You should wave back. 
that is it. Don't forget to uh, give me a like if you like these spooky outfit of the days. I have another one in my brain that I may film next week as long as you guys still like these types of videos. So let me know. Cast your opinion down below. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. And I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!